Hi, this is Ikenichi X3 with another in the movie tutorial requested by a viewer. Um, in this tutorial, I'll be showing you the bounce motion. Um, if you're not really sure what I mean, you will see. You will see a lot in, in these. Um, it will make your MV have like more of a pro feeling, I guess. Um, it's just a nice way to transition like expressions and body movement. So I will show you how to do it. First of all, insert your character. Okay, folders. Okay. So let's say I'm going to this inspection for my smile. But first of all, let's size our character. I'm gonna make it kind of big so you guys can see what I'm doing. Okay. Let's see. Okay. So let's say I want to change it into a smile. Um without like just fading it in because that's kind of like a bland way of um, transitioning a different expression. So what we will do is just crop that image and then paste your other one. Okay, like I wanted to go to a smile. So you will need to use track motion for this. Um, there is not really any other way unless you find a way using pen crop. But I prefer chat motion, like this anyways. On the borderline between the two images, oh, uh, yeah, the borderline between the two images, you will add a keyframe. And then you will add a keyframe around each of the images. No, e um, add a keyframe around each side of the middle keyframe. Oh, no, wrong. Okay, I will teach you about the bottom two chat motion thingies in another tutorial, but not now. Okay. Mm. Okay, so all in all, you have three keyframes. One in the middle that is in the borderline, and you can see it like right here. Um, if you maximize your tracks, you can like move it around in here. But I like to like just minimize my bars. Anyway, in the middle one, you will click your little X box that um, says Prevent Scaling X. You will click that, and what it pretty much does is just squinch up your character. Okay, let's make the bounce motion, like, I don't know, better. Um, make sure your character, um, like they are where they were before. My character, her feet were on the floor. So make sure you have, like, something that you can, you know, like, um, like, make sure they're standing at the same place as they were the last time. So, this is the result. Yes. Okay, so that is how you do the bouncing motion. Um, I might as well just show you the other um, thing. So, um, in MMV sometimes, you will see that the character might have like a white um, glowish box around it. Um, this is how you do it. Um, okay. Well, let me get like a different background. Um, it will be easier for you to see. Okay, so you will just go to check motion. You will click 2D glow, and um, there will be a list of options right here. For the blur percent, put it at zero. So it is pretty much just like an outline of your character. And then put it to white or whatever color. Um, I like white since, I don't know, um, it just re looks really cool like that. And if you decide, like, oh, never mind, it looked kind of cool in other movies, but I don't want it right now, um, you can just, like, unclick it, click it one again. Yeah. Okay, and to the shadow, you literally just have to just click that button, and you have a shadow. Yeah. Okay, anyways, that is how you, um manipulate um, the track motion so yes that is how you do the bounce um, 2D glow and 2D shadow so I hope this helps and thank you for watching